Elaine McElroy, Director, Wellfleet Public Library, Wellfleet, Massachusetts. Elaine ensures that the library is the thriving center of community life. Under her leadership, the Cape Cod Library draws in both the area's year-round and summer residents with more than 900 yearly events and programs. She has enabled community members to perform show artwork, curate exhibitions, to practice yoga, piano, to teach, study, and create community. Elaine has overseen the library building through its conversion from an old candle factory to a space that is equipped with wireless internet, and she continues to look forward to the future. She is currently fundraising to install solar panels on the library's roof. Elaine McElroy. This is such a tremendous honor, and I was so humbled, deeply humbled to receive it. But then last night, I read the nominations of all uh, the other winners, and I am doubly humbled and delighted to be in your company. I actually had a dream that I met all of you before I even knew who you were. <laughs> so it's, it's wonderful to really be here with you tonight. Um, th there is a quote that says, um, I've always imagined that heaven will be some kind of library. And I have to admit that I work in a heaven on earth. And I'm very grateful that people were willing to give an award to a librarian that works in paradise. Um, but that paradise is due to the support that I receive. Um, and it is unbelievable. I, 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 I think that the state of Massachusetts does a great job of supporting their libraries, and our wonderful Cape and Islands Library Association works very hard. I have an incredible support system. I have tonight here staff, trustees, friends of the libraries, volunteers. It, it really makes a huge difference in a community to have that sort of support, and, and I wish that every library, I wish that for every library. Uh, it's not to say that we don't have, have our problems. If you've never seen a copy of the Library of America edition of Moby Dick filled with sand. You, <laughs> but, um, and Cape Cod in Wellfleet and on Cape Cod, we, we're losing our young people. Fishermen are struggling with red tide. Um, and I think librarians know get to know, in especially in a small public library, you get to know your community like many other people don't. And I hope that more organizations and chambers of commerce and things like that will put librarians into the mix when they're looking at their communities and, and looking for ways uh, to go. I would love to recognize the many friends that are here tonight, my family, my husband, Stephen Russell, who also has a an MLS, MLS degree, and we met in the Milne Library at the State University of New York at Geneseo. So I've always associated libraries with love. <laughs> and um, my son Peter Russell, who's here tonight, and my son Robin, who couldn't be here because right at this moment he is setting the lights for a program that Bob Woodward is giving at his college, the Mass College of Liberal Arts. I wanted to thank these three lions of library support that have sponsored this tonight um, because they stretch us, they give us grants that make us reach out of our day-to-day -day work and do something special, and it is wonderful to have them by our side as we join them in attempting and striving to do real and permanent good in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you.